What's happening, guys? Keith here with your Impact Wrestling Redemption pay-per-view preview and predictions video. So, I don't know about you guys, but I am excited for this pay-per-view. We have a bunch of good matches on the card. Possibility of new titles debuting. Um, new commentary team, maybe. They said there was surprises, so let's see. So, up first, I think we are going to start the show with the six-way match between with Brian Cage versus Taiji Ishimori versus Trevor Lee versus DJZ versus Phantasma versus Desmond Xavier. So, I think that this one is probably the most predictable match on the card. I think they're going to go with Brian Cage as he seems to be the guy that is going to be the next big thing in Impact Wrestling. So, it makes sense to push him. And have him win the match. Um, it sh still should be a great match. I, I feel like we're really going to see a lot of more, a lot more of what Brian Cage is capable of. You know, we've seen him in a couple matches with Lashley, where we saw what he can do in the ring, and uh, in his match with KM last night. But this should be fun, and I'm going with Brian Cage. So up next, we have the two Lucha Underground stars, Arrow Star versus Drago. Uh, I don't know too much about either of these men besides little bits and pieces I've seen here and there and the match with them during the Impact Wrestling vs. Lucha Underground show. Um, I'm going to go with Aerostar. No reason. That's who I'm going with. So up next, we have Moose, Eddie Edwards, Tommy Dreamer vs. OVE, Sammy Callahan, and the Chris Brothers. Um, well... I think Eddie Edwards is going to get his redemption. Uh, I think the face team is going to go over here. Just seems fitting. Um, I mean, there's still a possibility that Callahan's team goes over and they continue the feud and we have a one-on-one -on -one feud to end it. I just feel like what, what happened at the uh, Lucha Underground versus Impact show with Impact Wrestling throwing in the towel and... Sammy's still getting a victory that I think it's Eddie's turn to get a victory. And, I mean, they could still go on with it. So, our first title match is the Knockouts Championship match with Allie defending against Sue Young. I, I am going to go with Allie on this one. I think it's a little premature to give Sue Young the title. Um, she's been in the or on TV for the last month. That's about it. And I think that was one of the things with impact and what they should move away from is putting the title on new stars granted they did that with Aries when he came in but he wasn't a new star he was a returning star so that I was okay with but I think Ali should retain here uh, maybe Soo Young beats her down after the match Rosemary comes out and then we get something between the two of them uh, I don't know Rosemary's status if she's injured I know she had an injury previously but I don't know if she's still injured but I think Ali should retain the title here so, up next, the tag team titles match with LAX defending against Scott Steiner and Eli Drake. Um, well, I could see this going two ways, depending on how long Scott Steiner is signed for. If this is just a one-off and he's showing up for the pay-per-view and that's all we're going to see of him. But I do see Scott Steiner and Eli Drake taking the titles, um, possibly losing it you know, in a LAX's rematch during the next set of tapings or maybe to another team. But that's my pick. However, I would be okay with LAX winning it and just continuing their dominance in the tag team division. So up next, the X Division title match with Matt Seidel defending against Petey Williams. And I think that they're going to keep it on Matt Seidel. I feel like they've put a lot into him with especially adding Josh Matthews as his manager. And uh, I just feel like there's still more to go with that. Um, one interesting thought that I had was that they made mention that Matt Seidel was the first one to receive the Canadian destroyer from Petey Williams. Now, what if this came full circle and Petey Williams hits the last Canadian destroyer on Matt Seidel as well, winning the title and then retiring? Just a random thought. I don't know what if Petey's going to continue or not. I would assume so because we haven't heard anything of it. But he has retired and come back. So who knows? Just a random thought that went into my mind. But I think Matt Seidel is going to be the winner here. Um, 
and you know, I think he makes a good champion. So hopefully Josh Matthews is at ringside and not behind the uh, commentary booth. Um, and that brings us to the main event. Austin Aries defending the world title versus Pentagon and Phoenix. Um, so I have a couple different situations. I feel like this match could play out. I mean, we saw Pentagon win the triple threat match at WrestleCon. So I think he's not going to win the match. I think Austin Aries is going to retain, and that will be my pick. However, if Eli Drake and Scott Steiner do fail to capture the tag team titles, I have a feeling that Eli Drake will cash in his Feaster Fire briefcase and become the new champion. Now, regardless if Eli, if Austin Aries wins or Phoenix wins, I feel like those are one of the... Either one of those two guys could win it, and Eli is going to cash in on them. But I, I think Austin Aries should be the winner of the match. Um, stick with the guy in the company. Maybe Eli cashes in on a Aries. They have a feud, because, I mean, we didn't really get much of a feud between the two of them. We only got, what, a couple weeks worth of a feud? And, I mean, that press conference they had, or I think it was a press conference, and, and it was just gold. I feel like the two of them would work well together back and forth on the microphone and then that would give us you know the impact audience a chance to see the pentagon versus phoenix feud brother versus brother you know i mean i i think that that would be kind of cool way to do it um but yeah that's that's the whole card i mean there was rumors of a uh kira hogan versus taya match pictures popped up on the internet but impact wrestling hasn't confirmed anything so this is the card i'm going to go on and I will see you guys tomorrow for another edition of the Impact Report. Thanks for checking out my video, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.